Good morning. My name is Christine Tumians. I'm the zoning administrator. I'm going to call today's meeting to order. It's 1033, 32. Um, the first order of business is approval of the August 1st, 2024 draft minutes. I reviewed the minutes and have no changes. So um, uh, and um, we are now taking public comments on the draft minutes. If you are intending of attending in person and wish to make a comment on the draft minutes, please raise your hand. Seeing none, um, uh, the minutes for August 1st are approved as submitted. Uh, item number three is non agenda a public comment. So we are taking uh, comments for um, subjects that are not on the agenda. So if you wish to make a comment on items that are not agenda, that's the, this is now the time. Please raise your hand. Seeing none, I will close the public comments. Moving on to um, statement of purpose. The zoning administrator is appointed by the planning and economic development director and has the responsibility and authority to conduct public meetings and hearings and to act on applications for minor or re reduced review authority projects or entitlements. A determination or decision by the zoning administrator may be appealed to the design review board, cultural heritage board, planning commission, or city council as applicable to the decision. All actions taken by the zoning administrator may be appealed within 10 calendar days. If the final day of the appeal period falls on a non-business day, the appeal period will be extended to the next business day. There are no consent items, so we'll move on to the first scheduled item, which is item 6.1, a land landmark alteration permit for two gates along driveway, um, along the driveway at 310 Carrillo Street, file number LMA 23-009. And um, Planner Beachla, I understand that um, this item will be continued. Yes, okay. due to a date uncertain, and it will be renoticed um, once a new date is scheduled. Okay. So my understanding is uh, a member of the public requests a public hearing for this item, so it'll be renoticed um, at a higher level. So in addition to a postcard, there will be a uh, uh, an ad in the, um, a notice in the paper newspaper and they would have to they'll have to post a sign on their property prior to the meeting so um, that item will be continued you'll get a new postcard and it'll be a public hearing in the future and if you have any questions uh, planner Bisla can answer those thank you moving on to the next item uh, public meeting uh, this is for a minor conditional use permit to convert the existing structure to a single family dwelling at 1645 Humboldt Street, file number CUP 24-003. And um, I was given notice uh, this morning that um, the applicant has requested that this item be continued to a date uncertain. Um, it sounds like they might be changing their project. Um, it would be me. That's you? I, I being the applicant. Okay. Um, If, uh, if you approve it and something changes down the road, it doesn't really make much of a difference, is it? It doesn't? I mean, we could just... It depends. So it sounded like um, um, Ms. Murray was going to meet with you next week right? to discuss this project more, to get a more understanding of what your goals are. Uh -huh. Is that right? Okay. Well, I just want to convert the existing building uh, and that, that was the, the reason uh, that it took me two months to get this hearing. Oh, okay. and I'd really, if, if there's any way you could approve it and, uh, and then we can, you know, if something comes out of a meeting with uh, planning. Mm -hmm. Susie, just because I'm trying to beat the reins is what I'm trying to do. Okay. So, um, Zoning Minister Susie has raised her hand. Yeah, I'm going to open the public comment for this and, um, yeah, you can see. We hear from Susie. Hello, all. Can you hear me? We can. Hi, um, and I'm just wanting to explain that uh, we've also received a request for public hearing, so no action can be taken today. Um, I explained to the person that that submitted that request for public hearing, which was received yesterday that um, I was meeting with the applicant to really make sure that we're addressing all of the code enforcement issues through this process. 
Um, and that is the purpose for the meeting on on Monday. And it also sounds to me like there has been some changes to the plans. So the plans that were posted or the plans that we had to post were not the plans that the applicant is um, currently proposing. So there was there was a, a little bit of breakdown in communication. So um, continuing to a date uncertain, I think makes sense. And when we do, I, we have to continue it because of public hearing request. Um, I wanna make sure that we have all our decks in a row before we, we schedule another date. Thank you, Ms. Murray. Did you have any questions? Okay, so similar to the last one that was continued, um, this project will be continued to a future date. It'll be a public hearing because someone has requested a public hearing. So there'll be an ad in the paper, a new postcard will go out, and then you'll be required to post a sign on your property prior to 10 days before the hearing. Okay. So it'll be a similar thing, similar process to the last one I continued. But um, yeah, we will reconvene and on this project in the future. Do we know who's uh, requesting a public hearing? You can go ahead and contact me. I, I, I'm going to meet you. On, I'm going to see you on Monday, and I'll give you that information on Monday. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. You bet. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. Same here. All right. Yes. I'll close the public hearing on the, our pub, the public comment on this item. We'll move on to the next item. Um, so item 6.3 is minor conditional use permit for extended hours of operation for Hot Work Santa Rosa, a 24-hour health fitness facility at 1415 Fulton Road, Suite 221, file number CUP 24-028. And planner Shekali will be presenting. Thank you, Mr. Mions. Let me share the PowerPoint. Gee, gee, yeah. Hey, good morning. The project before you, as you mentioned, is a minor use permit for extended hours of operation for a gym. Uh, this is the view from this gym. They already have obtained a building permit to operate there. The use for a gym is permitted by right. The only use they are obtaining the minor use is for extended hours of operation. So basically they want to be open 24 hours. The location is within a shopping center surrounded by commercial and residential neighborhoods. The general plan land use is a CG and the general plan land use is retail and medium density residential and the zone is CG, general commercial. And the site is already developed with commercial uses. This is the suite where this uh, gym is taking place right now. This is the floor plan that shows the use of the site for a gym. And staff did not receive any comments or questions about this extended hours of operation. The project has been reviewed in compliance with California Environmental Quality Act, and it qualifies for class one exemption. And with that, the Planning and Economic Development Department recommends that the zoning administrator by resolution approve a minor control use permit to operate a 24-hour fitness health facility located at 1415 Fulton Road. And that was my presentation. Thank you, Ms. Shekali. I have no questions of the applicant. Um, I'm gonna open the public comment, but seeing that there's nobody in this room, I will then close the public comment. Um, a 24-hour uh, fitness facility seems like a reasonable request. Uh, people wanna go work out either before work or after work, so it makes sense and um, doesn't look like it will cause any nuisance for the surrounding uses. So with that, I'll be approving um, a C, uh, conditional use permit for Hot Works Santa Rosa, uh, file number CP24-028. Please note this action is final unless an appeal is filed with the city clerk's office within 10 calendar days of today's decision. And for this item, that date is September 16, 2024. And there are no other items scheduled, so I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you.